this is Christy with Art of Awakening and welcome to this um, new moon in Aries reading. This is a reading for uh, Friday, April 5th through April 11th, which will be next Thursday. It's a lunar week starting with the new moon in Aries on the 5th. And I'm feeling just a little playful today. I don't know why, maybe because the sun is so shining bright. It's springtime. But I thought I'd pull out all the decks, not all of them, but a lot of them, and uh, just pull out a bunch of decks. We'll just do a quick reading with a whole bunch of different cards. Uh, it'll be fun. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate your likes, your subscribes. And this is um, the fourth of uh, like daily uploads all through April as a thank you for reaching a thousand subscribers last month. So thanks to everybody who has liked and subscribed all that stuff all right so um just int introduce the decks i'm using here in the um i'm actually using this as the east position here uh, because it's actually facing <laughs> east where i'm at that's the animal messages deck from susie green and in the north position we have the shaman wisdom cards uh, from Lighter to Re richeson I've pre-shuffled all of these, by the way. And um, this is my Spirit Animal Awareness deck in the west position. Um, that's this one, and the link to purchase this deck is below if you're interested. And here in the south position, I'm using the Medicine Cards by Jamie Sam Sams and David Carson. And then I may top it off with a Michael card, Archangel Michael deck from Dream Virtue. Um, love Michael. He's a best buddy of mine so um all right so let's get started i'm gonna just go ahead and draw a card from the animal messages deck and we'll see what that wants to say okay we've got beaver <laughs> investing in home comforts all right so beaver's got a lot of meetings uh, home comforts could be one of them easily and uh, then there's always also the busyness and i'm kind of getting that not necessarily that it has to be super busy but it could so just kind of be aware that this week could be a busy one and um that you have control over it so that you know there's busyness and there's busyness right so there's busyness that actually is productive and you know maybe we should say business right or there's busyness that's just running on a hamster wheel. Beaver is a rodent, just like a hamster. So just be aware and be sure that you are choosing what serves you best and that you can dial back on the busyness if you need to. Uh, stay aware of, you know, if things are busy, kind of look at, okay, is this really productive? Is this productive busyness? Because a beaver is a productive animal. I mean, it really it gets a lot done. Um, it's not out there to spin its wheels. <laughs> a beaver is not a hamster. All right, so um, just kind of keep that in mind. And also, it, it likes to eat aspen, which is a very fast-growing tree. So I keep getting this, like this, this month of April just seems like a lot of growth happening in this month. Okay, we're going to head to the north position here. shuffle these. I did. All right, so let's just see what card wants to jump out. Oh, this one. Falling Leaf Moon. All right, so these cards are very interesting, and they're a deck that I'm still kind of learning to work with. And some of the things in them, um, like the moons, the different moons, I'm not all that familiar with. So that, I take that as a learning opportunity and see what they say about falling leaf moon it actually refers to um late october october 24th through uh november 21st which would be like the scorpio season okay um so this is talking about death and transformation like the leaves falling and moving into the um you know into the earth getting ready for the winter um, this is kind of letting go of the old so that the new can, in its time, spring forward. Um, so we've had a lot of purging over the past year. 
but this week might be one where like the, the ghosts come up and like don't you don't necessarily have to expect this but if they do like there may be some things that haven't quite been cleared or you, you know just the final final bits that need to be cleared so just kind of be aware that if things come up if you find emotions flaring or um you know maybe depression or, or whatever um hardships or challenges coming up just just realize that it's just coming up because it's it's just time to let something go and come to center and just you know allow it to you know allow the emotions that just notice them but don't get caught up in them you, you know this would be a, might be a good week to just kind of work through whatever is left that you need to let go of it could be a just even even spring cleaning <laughs> even spring cleaning um i've got a new roommate that came in it's kind of purging stuff and i've got uh, my kids and it's time for me to do that too i think like a lot of us are, are starting to think about just what even physical things are we needing to let go of so that we can really step into this coming year um you know with our energy clear um full moon in general is a really good time to purge so consider any kind of clearing ritual purging ritual letting go a ritual might be a really good thing to consider doing there's something maybe a relationship that you've already left but you find that you keep thinking about things that happened and that's haunting you and just time to um maybe rewrite a letter or something and then burn it something of that sort all right who wants to come forward i've got several that keep wanting to come forward this this is the west position i think it's this one tiger all right trusting yourself um, Tiger is very, like all cats, very kind of self-contained, right? Um, and Tiger, I, I find, comes up with a lot of healers. A lot of healers seem to resonate with Tiger a lot. Um, so there could be uh, some inner healing work to do, maybe in conjunction with this um, letting go, a purging kind of thing. So you are your own best healer. Always remember that. It's like it's it's good to work with healers like sometimes we need that help that guidance but ultimately you are your own best healer and your inner you know your higher self knows knows what to do so trust your gut this week and finally we're gonna this deck this is the medicine cards deck oh, i like this deck um I'm with the Shazam symbol on the back. <laughs> Whoa. Shazam, let's see. What does self want to say here? Porcupine. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm sort of getting... <sighs> Two sides to this. One is sensitivity right we can if we're, if we're overly sensitive everything can feel like a prick or a like a, a sting you know prickle uh, so just just watch that in yourself and in others like uh, be aware that others might be having this sort of sensitive mode and that there might be the tendency to see everything as a quill being thrown at them or see things like challenges kind of like there's there's this tendency sometimes to see challenges as like a quill that's stuck that won't come out all right keep aware that this is a mindset but just be be super sensitive to you know that in you and others there may be this tendency to kind of be overly sensitive on the other hand the other side of porcupine feel what it feels like to be a porcupine and you've got all this protection around you just all this stuff i mean you can look at these quills they look like rays of light if you hear that scratching that's, that's my roommate's bearded dragons <laughs> i think they're mating <laughs> that's hilarious okay so there's there's a lot of like creative energy going on right now um but think about the porcupine and and it looks like it's just surrounded in light and um 
I felt playful. <laughs> and, and just like imagine yourself just encased in light with, with like as a porcupine, like covered in these light rays, like sort of like selenite crystal, you know, um, selenite wands or something all over your back. <laughs> and just kind of, you know how porcupine doesn't rush its way through things, it just sort of trundles. It just kind of takes its time and trundles because it doesn't have to rush. It knows it's protected. So this is like going back to this beaver thing. It's when we start feeling anxious and rushed that we start doing that hamster wheel thing. Okay. So if we kind of kind of combine porcupine and beaver, we can just kind of trundle through the week and really get a lot done this week. Um, but also just kind of it's keeping in mind that sometimes, you know, sometimes the most productive thing is to sit back and just breathe. <laughs> so just, this is a really good week to consider our balance. Be aware of where we're in balance. Maybe that's why I was called to do this Four Directions kind of reading. Um, because Michael's going to go in the middle and Michael's middle is the place to be. We want to always be balanced. So let's see if Michael can give us some guidance on how to stay balanced this week. Interesting. Time to leave this unhealthy situation. I think this really uh, hits hard, hard home with um, that, that Scorpio energy in there and the letting go. Um, this may be a very powerful week for just finally stepping out of situations that haven't served us, of, of um, belief systems that haven't been serving us, you know, false beliefs, um, emotions that haven't been serving us, maybe job situations that haven't been serving us, maybe relationships, you know, really, I think he's, he's really saying, you know, really think about that purging and, and it's okay to leave. Like it can be scary sometimes to change to step into the unknown um you know but the the more aware we can be about what's going on the easier that is and just know that you are oops protected and that you have that inner guidance okay you're guided and protected all right so enjoy this week i think this is going to be a really good week for a lot of people, it feels like it can be a, a week that really, um, like, feels like a week of putting down roots of, you know, um, maybe taking some practical steps for a really good future. So have a good one and we'll catch you again tomorrow.